Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing the questions of data communication and networking. Along with the questions, I would be also discussing about the basic concepts related to that question. So stay tuned, let's move on to the questions. The first question is, Telnet, FTP, SMTP protocols fall uh, in the following layers of OSI model. So uh, these protocols belong to which OSI model? So I'll tell the answer. It is the application layer protocols. All these protocols are application layer protocols. Along with we can discuss the protocols for uh, transport layer. In transport layer protocols we would be having TCP and UDP. These would be the transport layer protocols. Okay, And the network layer protocols you would be having IP. IP is a network layer protocol. Okay, and ARP, this is address resolution protocol and RARP. These protocols, uh, reverse address resolution protocol, they would belong to network layer. Also ICMP, internet control message protocols. These protocols, all three protocols, they would belong to network layer. Transport layer would contain TCP and UDP. And uh, application layer, application rail would contain HTTP, also, the protocols other than this, the here it is Telnet is there, FTP is there, SMTP is there, along with that HTTP and uh, SMTP is already there, DNS would also be, these protocols would also be a part of application layer, POP3, that is post office protocol, uh, domain name server, these protocols also will be a part of application layer. When we talk about presentation layer, we have protocol like secure socket layer, TSL and uh, sorry SSL and TLS. These are the protocols for presentation layer. So along uh, with you can remember these also. So these would be helpful. Let's move to the next question. In this question, which of the following algorithms solves all pair shortest path? So here we are talking about all pair shortest path. I'll tell you the answer. That is Bellman fold algorithm. Here it is written just fold. Uh, sorry, Ward fold algorithm. Uh, Marshall fold algorithm. So this is the Ford's algorithm, uh, which would be uh, used for uh, so calculating all pair shortest path. Bellman fold algorithm and discus truss. These also are for shortest path algorithm also only. These are shortest path, but uh, the difference between Bellman 4 and Rizk uh, Strauss is that in Bellman 4, if we have negative edges, it would work, whereas in the uh, Rizk Strauss algorithm, it is only for uh, positive edges. So that is uh, Floyd's algorithm is for all pair shortest path. For Rizk Strauss and Bellman 4, only two pair, that is 0.1 to 0.2, we can find the shortest path from be only between the source and the destination is for Rizk Strauss and Bellman's. Whereas for foil wash algorithm, it is all pair shortest path. Here the another name is uh, Prim's algorithm. The Prim's algorithm is for minimum spanning tree. It is not uh, for finding the shortest part, it is finding the minimal spanning tree between two given points. So this was the details, you can go through them. Next. Uh, switch uses DAS, address of a machine to transfer data. Okay. Uh, switch is a data link device. It operates in data link layer. And the address in data link layer is the MAC address or what we call as the physical address. So here the answer would be MAC address. That is the switch would you use uh, uh, make use of a MAC address to transfer data. So here the answer is MAC address as which is a data link layer device. Okay, which of the following is not user support layer? So before uh, telling which is not user support layer, let us say what is user support layer. In OSI model, it is, has seven layers. We have seven layers in OSI model. Okay, out of these seven layers, few layers are uh, designed as user support layer and few is categorized as network support layer. The user support layer are the physical layer, data link layer, sorry, network support layer are the physical layer, data link layer and the network layer. All these three are network support layer, whereas the user support layer are the application layer, a session layer and the presentation layer. And these three layers are user support layers and these three layers of network support layer. And transport layer is the intermediate interface between the network support layers as well as the user support layers. So these application layer, uh, session layer and presentation layer are user support layer. So here we have application layer, session layer and presentation layer. So answer would be data link layer. Data link layer is a network support layer. So it is not a user support layer. Okay, next question. Which of the following is a not is not a guided me uh, transmission media? 
twisted pair coaxial and fi optical fiber these all are guided only so the left one is laser beam it is not guided because it is based on light okay so it is not guided okay a02.11 is used in which of the following technologies a02.11 is wireless lan so it is laser beam for the above a02.11 is wireless lan and for ethernet it is 802.3 is for ethernet okay so for wireless lan it is 802.11 so you can remember both of these next bit stuffing technique is used in which of the following method okay uh, in data link layer we have a process called framing okay what actually is this is fr this framing is uh, from the above layer from the network layer we'll get uh, bits uh, streams of bits from the network layer and this streams of bits from the network layer are converted to frames okay and this frames may be of fixed length or variable length okay when the frames are of fixed length there is no problem if the frames are of variable length in this case if these are of variable length we need a way to define the start of the frame and the end of the frame okay so what we'll do is we'll stuff some bits at the beginning and at the end of the frame so that the receiver or the sender the sender would uh, stuff some bits in the beginning and the start and the end of the frame so that the receiver could find out that which is the frame which is the first frame which is the second frame so that he can distinguish between frames so bit stuffing is a technique which is used in the process of framing so framing is the answer for this question it is done in data link layer in case of variable length frames what is crc next question crc is a technique used for okay it is just error detection technique we cannot correct error from this it is error detection technique and it is cyclic redundancy check Okay, so you can remember it is only used for detection not for correction next FDDI standards are used in which topology FDDI standards are used in ring to ring network it is generally used in ring, ring network you have to remember this it is used in ring network which layer is responsible for process to process delivery okay see the answer for this is transport layer i'll tell it is uh, responsible process to process delivery when uh, if it is uh, data link layer then it would be node to node data link layer it is node to node delivery okay and in transport layer it is process to process delivery so here it is process to process so it is data link layer on oh, sorry transport layer only is the answer next question 128.167.152.2 is a class dash class address so we have to tell which which class does it belong to a b c or d so before that let's see the range of the classes the answer is b let's see the range of the classes class a address actually we can just uh, answer it by seeing this first number only okay so range of the class a address would be 1 to 127 so it is not a class a address here it is written 128 so it is class b address so you can remember the ranges of all these address that is a b c and d till here you have to remember if you remember those you can easily answer these types of questions which of them take care of email at client side so the answer is for uh, email at client side is pop or pop 3 and imap it is um, internet um, mail access protocol so these two protocols are used for uh, email at the client side both a and c if it is at the server side so there is another protocol for that smtp is there for the at the server side okay for the client side it is pop and imap for the server side it is smtp which ieee standard is used for ethernet we have already discussed uh, when we were discussing it for wireless it is 802.33 is for ethernet and we have another thing 802.33 it is used for ethernet and 802.11 we have already discussed it is for wireless okay and next one is 802.4 it is token bus token bus in lan okay and 802.5 it is token ring it is token ring and it is generally used in csma cd that is collision detection and 802.16 it is metropolitan uh, it is like lan it is man area network 
for man it is 802.16 so you can remember these things also along with this 802.3 and 802.11 so these are the standards basic standards which you have to remember okay the next question when a packet with the code is transmitted okay packet is transmitted it is received and processed by every machine on the network so this packet is received and processed by every machine on the network so it is broadcasting if everyone receives if all if we have n computers and all n receives it is broadcasting when more than one receives it is multicasting only one receives it is unicasting point to point is the communication between only two devices a and b so it is point to point so in this case all the machines are receiving so it is broadcasting is the answer for this question next default network mask for class a so I'll say it is when the first octet is 255, it is for class A. When first two is, it is for class B. It is for class C and it is for class D. So default um, network mask for class A is 255.0.0.0. Okay. Which HTTP messages show request timeout? So HTTP has various type of messages. So let's discuss the messages of HTTP. What are the messages? The answer for this for request timeout is 408, 408. Let's see okay the HTTP messages can be divided into two parts that is client side and the server side messages for our question it is 408 that is request timeout there are many other you can remember this 404 is also very common that is page not found okay it is very common to us uh, another request are 400 that is bad request if the format of the URL is not uh, according to the standard of HTTP then it would be a bad request they'll tell it like it is a bad request 401 is authorization required it is for those website where you, you need to fill in your details you need to be an authorized user 403 is forbidden and uh, 410 is gone so in our answer is 408 it is a client side message only and it is request timeout so you, ha you can remember these and next for server side messages if there is an internal server error it would be 400 if it is a bad gateway it is 502 service temporarily unavailable is 503 and gateway timeout is 504 so you can remember all this there are around 10 messages so you can remember all of this next ethernet uses a dash physical address that is imprinted on the network interface card so we are talking here about the mac address that is a physical address it would be of 48 bits as we know Ethernet uses MAC address or the physical address it is 48 bit so here the answer would be 6 bytes which would be equal to 48 bits uh, whereas on, in network layer we use IP addresses which would be of 32 bits or 8 bytes sorry 8 bytes no not 8 bytes 4 bytes okay for IP address it is for our answer it is MAC address which is of 48 bits so 6 bytes is the answer okay next congestion control is done by which layer uh, there are so many layers data link network transport application so application layer it is not possible so we have these three layers generally congestion control is done in network layer always uh, by using there are various methods for congestion control that such as traffic shaping uh, you uh, traffic shaping is there okay and the next method is leaky bucket algorithm or the token bucket algorithm so we commonly call it as a bucket algorithms by using bucket algorithms you can control congestion and the next one is choke packets by sending choke packets to the network you can detect congestion so congestion control is done at network layer next a distributed network configuration in which all information passes through a central computer so what we are trying to say is if there is a, there are nodes and they want to communicate something they have to send the data to the central computer and then it would pass it down suppose a want to send send something to b so a will send send it to the central computer and it would send it to b so this type of network is known as star network when all communication it goes through a central computer it's star the answer for this is star in bus network what we have we have computers connected in a series this is a bus network so like this the computers are connected like a bus uh, sorry there would be actually there would be a bus in this bus these computers would be connected so this would be a bus network 
okay in regnet ring network each computer is connected to two neighbors and the last would be computer to connected to the first so this is ring and this is bus and this is star so in our question it is star is the answer for this which of the following protocol is used to monitor network devices such as hubs switches and router routers actually this is routers how switches and routers so protocol which is used for managing the network devices see smtp is simple mail transfer protocol it is a server side protocol for mail transfer root information rap is root information protocol and os pfs open shows part uh, shortest path protocol so these protocols are for transferring only or uh, root um, routing only and ftp is file transfer protocol it is used for file snnp is the answer that is uh it is our answer it is a simple network management protocol snmp simple network management protocol and it operates at application layer it operates at ap application layer and its duty is to manage and monitor network devices and their functions also not only monitoring managing also managing and monitoring network devices as well as their functions this is the work of snmp functions also it will monitor whether they are working fine or not so this is the work of snmp so this was all about the questions of uh, networking i hope you liked it if you like the video please click the like button and please do subscribe our channel thank you